Hello, everybody, and welcome to FMW Purgatory, and we are live and here at the announce table with me. I got Josh Aldridge and Chris Snyder. Boys, welcome. Hey, hey. Good to be here. Looking forward to five great matches. This is going to be exciting for sure. Ryan Chesbeck is right in the ring. He's going to team up with Alan Stryker. And then we have Corey Gamble and Billy Ray Dog. They have been going at it on social media. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm curious to see how well Chess and uh, Stryker get along together because we know they're old enemies. They're all, they used to be going at it all the time on social media. And look at that title, current FMW Full Honor Champion, Alan Stryker, making his way down to the ring. I have to admit, it took me by surprise when he won that title. Not that he's not talented, but I just didn't see him beating Billy Ray Dog last week, the week before that. Billy Ray Dog, if you ask him, he would say it's a fluke. Would you say it's a fluke? I'd say a fluke. I would say we're about to find out. I also saw where Billy Ray Dog mentioned something about giving everybody over the age of 21 a free Guinness when him and his partner win tonight. Let's see if he's going. To, let's see if he's fishing about around for the whole company. Well, Josh, if you're that excited about it, you can have mine too, because I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm sober. Well, I didn't, I didn't say I was excited. I was just to see if he's willing to put his money for his mouth if, if he comes up as a win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know who that is. Game TV champion Corey Gamble, who is always one that lights up a room. If uh, you got my opinion on who the rising star of the year should be, it would be Corey Gamble. You know, there hasn't been any word about awards or nothing this year. I do have to say that I agree with Chris here. Corey is a rising star and he's very entertaining to watch. But, well, you know, if you guys want to go ahead and make that official, uh, three of us on the board, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can we can go ahead and say Rising Star of the Year, Corey Gamble. Uh, I'm not going to argue with that. I'm sure. Uh, Brad Miller just gave me the go in the headset, and so did Eric Wood. Ladies and gentlemen, Rising Star of the Year. Corey Gamble. Corey, expect your trophy in the mail. I don't, I don't think you have to ask me who my vote is for heel of the year. Malenko. Yeah. <laughs> Grace McGinnis. Hey, Grace is a great pick. I mean, she definitely ruined somebody's relationship. <laughs> Lee, was it FMW that told, uh, um, Billy to stop coming out with the scooter. He's just misplaced his scooter. We're working on that. Lefts and rights and Corey Gamble with the strength of a thousand men. Holy shit. What power? Good night. Remind me to never get in the way of him in the house. in oh, the yeah. last rule in uh catering. 
He's a one man wrecking career at the moment. <clears throat> well, he did say that he's beat both these men one on one and in a triple threat. He's got no problem taking them both on by himself. Billy Ray Dog is just there for extra credit. Well, at the moment, he's up there for moral support. But I think Corey Gamble might have bit off a little bit more than he could chew because here comes what we all were wanting to know if it was going to work out. And look at this tag team action. Well, what is it they say? An enemy to my enemy is my friend? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yes. Let's see how long this alliance can coexist, how long it can last. Oh! Into the corner. Ooh! Bar and, uh, Billy uh, working like a well old machine. Billy finally gets the tag in and some slaps across the chest of Alan Stryker. But Stryker going to deliver some shoulders in the corner and now tag the chest. Oh. Ooh. Well, yeah, I got to ask, do we have extra security in the back? Because uh, like the last three weeks, we've had a main event get changed because somebody got beat up in the back. Um, Actually, security got cut, funny enough. I'd, I don't know if you guys got that memo, but uh, right now we got, we got like four guys for security. That might be one of those crazy shirtless trunk guy running around and catering. No, no, that's, um, nah, just ignore him. That's, <laughs> that, he might be related. Oh, I mean, okay. I, I'm pretty sure that's Mitch Dark. Uh, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't see it myself, but I've heard. Oh! One! Play a one count. Ooh. Ooh, nice elbow. So you think Corey is uh, upset about his choice of words against these two coming into this? Yeah, I've always heard to, you might want to sprinkle salt on your words because you may have to eat them. And I'm sure hoping he carry, carries a rain of salt sugar because he's definitely eating his words right now. Look at Stryker. <laughs> Going back and forth with elbow drop. Put out in front of it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching our racing series, uh, this week, oh. this coming week, they go to uh, Martinsville. <laughs> so make sure you check them out tomorrow and the next day Martinsville Speedway the truck snap on truck series and then the cup series Martinsville Speedway the paper clip two just a two count this will be race five for the truck series and race eight for the cup series and uh, then we're gonna start what they are calling the first real season. And I'm excited to see what that's gonna look like. One, two, no. Mm. Uh, is there I've anything in the rumors there might be an Xfinity series? Well, the rumor is somewhat true, somewhat not true. There is gonna be a series in between truck and cup, but it's not going to be the Xfinity cars. They're, uh, they're working. If we can get enough of them rounded up and or a schematic to build them, they're talking about bringing the old 1987 cup car. Uh, so might have some good racing coming soon. And some of the people that race are in this match right now. Uh, Billy Ray Dog, Corey Gamble, Alan, all of them, right? Alan Stryker, right check over the cover. What's this? One, two, no. Um, 
Speaking of the Martinsville race, I will actually be there for the first time this year, uh, putting summer rain in her, in her truck. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, if you are a book reader, even if you're not, and it's just because you haven't found a good book that you like, I suggest you go check out Chris Snyder, uh, the author on Amazon. He's got several books on there, uh, a lot of them pretty good. Uh, I just realized recently that if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you can go read his books for free. Um, and it, it's, it's well, I mean, not free, obviously, you had paid subscription, and I don't know what that does for him. But um, go read his books. I have read his books. They're pretty good. You mentioned it. Uh, what happens is I get paid. Uh, that was One, on Prime. I get paid two. half a cent for every page read. It would help him a lot more if you bought the book and had the physical copy. Um, cover. One, two. No. And sorry, you were saying, Josh? I was just saying I have read his books, and yes, they're definitely worthy of reading. They're pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, you nice can elbow. find the link in the description of this video. Yes, you can. I forget that sometimes. Tag made. Sit at this table, you kind of forget that this ends up on a platform. It's been a lot better than I thought it would be. Oh! Another tag! The back and forth of Billy Ray Dog. Corey Gamble is unbelievable. What is Gamble looking for? Oh! Well, what a close one. Gamble's exhausted. I thought Kess and Stryker would implode, but they have not. His nose just did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. A kick by Billy. Ooh. One. Hooray, crash. No. Break two. I think if Corey Gamble was paying attention, Billy Ray Dog might have just shown an injury of Ryan Chess. A weakness. Wow. What do you guys think? Um, not how I thought that match would go. As soon as Billy Ray Dog pulled back on that ankle and leg and knees or however Wherever that goes, instantly Chess gave up. Well, regardless, congratulations to Billy and Corey. Uh, you hear you get a full honor title shot. Sorry, say again. And is Corey Gamble, I know he got attacked before his full honor title match. Is he still owed a full honor title match? Nope. He didn't make it to the ring. That's on him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring now. He is the owner of Fat Money Wrestling. Triple C. He's back and not climbing around anymore. <laughs> I'm this new music catchy. I'm pretty sure he'll appreciate that. And now making his way down to the ring, he is one half of your FMW World Tag Team Champions, Donnie Reynolds.
Donnie the one that like dang near bled to death that extreme of Palooza? Yes. How he is still cleared to wrestle after that? Like especially the week after, like the, literally the the week after he was he was ready to go. I don't blew my mind. know who that is. Action. This man is in FMW OG. He's been here so long. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that is not Marty Skrull. Who? <laughs> um, Brad's calling me one second. might want to keep that can around so it's going to be legal in this one excuse me hello and the bell has rung Who you got in this one, Josh? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say I think Braxton will win this one. I'm gonna uh, call me a brown nose if you want. I'm going with Triple C. <laughs> well, he's definitely a good pick. <laughs> Picking the devil. Look at that. Braxton rolling out of the ring. But Josh, has your brother tried to talk you into getting into a race car yet? Uh, well, you know, it does say Aldridge Racing. There's a reason it says that. You never know. You might see me behind the wheel one day. Close line there. That's it. Kind of odd to have my girlfriend racing for her ex. Mm. Oh, we have a Kindle stick. Oh, to the back. Oh, in back. Suddenly, suddenly, your cane comment don't don't seem like a bad idea. Triple C has the upper hand for now. Blake's in full con triple, I'm sorry. Triple C in full control right now. Oh! What a kick! Ten! One! Two! Kick at it, two. Triple C telling uh, Braxton to come and get it. He did come and get it. <laughs> Temporary alignment. Oh. Right we got Braxton busted open. Yeah. 
That triple Man. C is going right after that wound. That and breaking right across the eye. You know that blood in his eyes has got to affect his vision. We have a sledgehammer. He just bites the busted open spot on his head. Hey, win at all costs. Oh! Flex on top of the sledgehammer. Uh, Braxton brought in a baseball bat, it looks like. <laughs> I now believe oh, everybody's Johnny supposed to know things. Blood rushing to the head. Big slam. Oh, and crucifix! All right, sorry. All good. Oh! Oh, you missed some great action, Lee. Oh, there it is! Twisted hammer! Crowd's going nuts. Yes, they are. Ask Josh his opinion. Who do you think won in this one? Um, man, Braxton. He's he's a hard. Oh, uh, maybe not Braxton. <laughs> Now it's got to be Braxton. Braxton's hard to rule out. That was my pick, but uh, still the triple C, which uh, is a bad Betty. Ooh, ooh! Spit and sweat and blood flew everywhere with that hit. <laughs> These guys definitely have no love between each other, huh? Oh, definitely none. They're certainly not having cookie cutter matches this week. Ooh. Ooh. Again, Braxton delivering it to Triple C. I don't know what he's saying to him, but he is hitting him hard and then whispering something in his ear. I guarantee you, whatever it is, it's not PG. <laughs> Ooh. They're being uppercut to the back of the head. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Cutter. Up for something. Oh, oh. One, no. Just a one count. getting in the way here. Braxton going nuts. Triple C with the headlock. Mm, miss. One. Could be it. 
Braxton too fast. Braxton breaking it up. Taking Donnie over to the corner now. Ooh. Cover. One, two, three. Triple C wins. How about that? To our third match. Michelle Michaels making her way down to the ring to take on none other than the FMW Women's Champion, Grace Beginnis. Michelle Michaels was hitting the gym during her time off. Michelle Michaels returned in a triple threat match against Ashley and uh, Moraine. and old rival. Searching for greatness in a I'm sorry. Both these women coming in and uh, both of them look like they're ready for business so uh, get ready for a slobber knocker. At Fighter Frenzy, you're going to see Grace McGinnis versus Michelle Michaels versus Ashley Nicole versus Summer Rain for that championship. So weird. I just got a text from Christopher Rich saying, look out for a black card. You still talk to Rich? About choice. Okay. Uh, understandable. I mean, I have to have some contact with him since Summer Rain drives for him. Yeah, and I hear you're sponsoring a couple of his cars, vehicles. That's yeah, business. You think you need friends to go into business together. Understandable, understand. Ooh, bunch to the side. Right now, Michelle Michaels is working. Grace McGinnis over. Oh, cover. Nope. Not even a one count. People were very surprised to see Grace begin to beat Summer Rain at uh, the Extreme Palooza. Brad's talking in my ear. What did you say, Chris? 
I said I, a lot of people were uh, surprised to see Grace McGinnis defeat Summer Rain, and was it Extreme of Palooza where they had that match? I think it was before Extreme of Palooza. One. No. Ooh. Or maybe it was Extreme of Palooza. You know, I'll get back to you on that. Look at the strength right there. The back and forth. Ali, is there any word about CWC possibly returning? Um, at the moment, there there is some things in the works. It is coming back. It's just uh, going to take some time. And sorry, guys. Brad, Brad needs me in the back again. Dang it. I'm going to head off the hardest part of the ring right there. Still taking it to the champion. Hey, if you want to start right the good, you got to show what you got. Back into the ring we go. Austin are back in the ring. That's. Mm. Oh, but going up to the top rope. Uh oh. Miss! Oh, she missed. Great getting the upper hand now. I just hear. Mm -hmm. And one over the cover. Two, just a two count. No. Going up to the top rope. Uh oh, just got her, but that oh, was a fish. Still got her. Pin. One, two, kick out. Michael's refusing to stay down. Well, that's how you win. But that may have just been it. I don't know what that's called, but... Ah, uh, that... Thought that might have been a mistake, but maybe not. Going back up to the top rope. a mistake, not going for the pin. Going for it again. Going up for a third time. Grace, you might be going to the well once too often. Oh! She's just toying with her now, and it did not pay uh, yeah. off. Pin. One. Two. Kick out. He almost paid for playing with her food. Mm. 
Jesus. I'm paying the price right now for her going back to that well one too many times. Yeah, Grace should have tried to finish her off once he could. Well, she's learning a valuable lesson right now because of her actions. Oh, there's that power bomb again. Whoa! Fans are chanting one more time, but I I gotta say make the pin. And here we go. One, two. I'm gonna make the same mistake. Kick out at two. I did not expect her to kick out. And I know we joke a lot about Grace's um, relationships, we'll say. But she actually is a great athlete. Relationships, more than one? Okay. Both of these competitors are, are exhausted. You can see that they're just at their wits end here. Neither one of them are willing to give up. Ow. I think that will do it. One, two, three. Got her. Shell Michaels comes out on top. What a what a match! What a victory! That was that was awesome. I don't know if this is going to be a popular opinion, but I think so far this is one of the best purgatories all year. Well, it's been on the edge of your seat action all night. We got two more matches to go. Making his way to the ring, Joseph. Saw him defeat uh, Jay Fatal last week by count out, but no count outs this week. This is an extreme rule. Yeah, I was about to say just that. This is an extreme rules match, so anything goes. Jay Fatal champion Christopher Rich last year. Dream champion, that is. <sighs> Up for not giving uh, Lee too, too hard of a time. No, uh, if he is, uh, Lee can shut him up pretty easily. We've mentioned him earlier. Now making his way to the ring, Jay Fatal. Your extreme champ. Are you going to be at the Martinsville race tomorrow, uh, Josh? I might so. Well, we have to wait and see. I'm back. My apologies, guys. Ah, uh, no problem. Welcome back. Brad is a uh, pain in the rear end sometimes. <laughs> If you missed it, we saw uh, Grace McGinnis uh, make a mistake by not finishing Michelle Michaels off once he could, then getting defeated by Michelle Michaels. Wow. Oh. This one's sure to be a problem. 
Butterfly suplex by Robinson. We got it here. The outside. Well, it's no count outs. Anything goes. Ooh. 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 Take all that church up to the head that it would make fatal mad. We have cheers. We have Kindle sticks. You can ex Wow. Oh! He threw the kendo stick at him in the head. <laughs> Ooh! Well, it wasn't a sledgehammer. It was, though. So, Lee, if Robinson beats Adel here, if he pins him, we know he won by count out last week, will he get a shot at the Extreme Championship? He's already got the shot after last week. Technically, he beat Fatal. Hey, it wins and win. This match is just for bright, bragging rights. Ooh! Mm. It's bouncing off that knee. We have a ladder. Oh, his head just hits that rim of that trash can. <laughs> oh. Bouncing off that top rope. Across the top rope. We've seen that finish people before. His back of his head. Out the sledgehammer. Oh. Oh. I flying. Wow. Yeah, I know. Our table could be in danger, guys. You think? Oh, good. They went back in the ring. Well, our, our table is always, always in danger. Ooh! <laughs> These two seem to have each other's scouted pretty well yeah this is definitely at the moment a, a competition of anything you can do I can do better one's up and shit no oh what I thought it was Clark mm, okay I was about to say, has uh, Idol been taking lessons from Clark? The heart skipped a beat, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I think it was just something to get into the head of Robinson. As he goes for a bow to me! One! Two! No! Oh! <laughs> okay. That might not have been Clark, but you guys realize we're going to see Malenko next, right? Wait, what? Did they not tell you what the main event was, Lee? 
No, they. I didn't get my. You, I'm supposed to get special pay. It's going to be Chris Michaels versus Malenko, one on one. Oh, great. Oh! Uh oh. Ooh! Ooh! Fire. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Burn! Okay, guys, let's let's put it out. Um. Are we watching a Japanese death match right now? Oh! Everybody getting third degree burns right now. Oh, now Robinson with his face in the fire. Oh no. No. Fatal, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh no. Oh. Bro, flaming table. No How way. Did he kicked out of that. Somehow, Robinson. Oh. Out. Jay Fatal is frustrated. Robinson may be cocky, he may be arrogant, but he actually is good as he is. Hey, he can afford to with that. I mean, if he's able to kick out of that, by all means. Oh! I dropped onto a chair. That's the hammer. Oh, dude, a midsection. Mm. Repeatedly to the midsection. Ooh! All right, Robinson come on. Doesn't have broke rib. I will be shot. Stop him! Come on now. Enough. enough. Oh. I think you're proving your point, Hey, How is he up? I don't know, but he went to the world one too many times. Seems to be a theme of the night. Oh, flying kick in the face. One, two. Two count. They don't refuse to stay down. One, two, three. Wow. What wow. a match. I think Robinson just learned he's going to have to be better than he's ever been to get that title from Fatal. Made it to our main event of the night. And it just got colder. Oh my. Oh. Oh my God. Um, is it just me or did he get a lot buffer? Uh, I was, I was wondering. Why is he looking Basically, at you? This, this rivalry started. This rivalry started when uh, Michaels took out Mason in the back to face Rich. 
<laughs> and then uh, later on, Malenko retaliated. He did not like Michaels doing that to his son. Oh my God. Are you looking at Malenko? I am. Dude is ripped. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not looking at him for long periods of time. I, I, I'm definitely trying not to make eye contact with him right now. Winner of this match will face Christopher Rich for the FMW title at Fighter Frenzy 5. Am I right? Yep. Maybe. Because if Malenko win, or whoever wins this gets to fight Rich for the title at Fighter Frenzy 5. Yep. Oh! Ooh! That is the best match ends cleanly. That's a good point. Ah. I just wonder if Rich has a preference here. He's faced both of them many times in the past. One? No. Not even a two count. Ooh! I wonder if Malenko showed up at Michael's house when you signed this week. This match too is an extreme ruse. That man is ill. What happened? I, I I don't know. He's being saying he's crazy and taking his vitamins apparently. Oh, you just missed him with that garbage can. Oh no. Oh! 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 He's trying to cripple him! God! Did you guys see that? Yeah. One handed. Look on face oh, no, 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 no. Watching this. Oh! One, two, what? Kick to the midsection. You know, at this moment, I think Chris is not I necessarily think I've fighting. Ever seen... I don't think he's necessarily fighting for a win. I think he's fighting for his life. Now you, Chris? I don't think I've ever seen Chris Mike get thrown around like this. No, this is bad. I think we see now why he was laid out in the back. Oh! I mean, look at the size difference, and Michaels is no small dude! Uh-oh! Go to sleep! One! Two! Three! 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 I think this is a warning to Rich. Don't be aware of Michaels. Beware of that go to sleep. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for you tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Please like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Sure, tune into the race tomorrow.